Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be reverse searing some Kansas City strip steaks on my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started on these beautiful Kansas City strip steaks from E3 Meat Company. Thank you, E3 Meat Company, for sponsoring this video. As you can see right here, it says right on the package, no antibiotics ever. And check out that beautiful marbling on these steaks right here. If you guys haven't heard of E3 Meat Company, make sure you check out the links below. Now, one thing I absolutely love about E3 Meat Company, they are huge supporters of our military. They give 10% of all net profits to our military and they do so much to help them out as well. All right, let's season these steaks up real simple. Salt, pepper, and garlic. All right, so while I season these, I do wanna talk about the Kansas City strip steak. Some of you guys may have never heard about it, but the Kansas City strip steak is the New York strip steak. Rumor has it that somebody in New York changed it from the Kansas City strip steak to the New York strip steak. So there you have it. Plus E3 Meat Company is in Kansas. So they have every right to name it the Kansas City strip steak. I am using some kosher salt. And here's our coarse black pepper. Make sure you get your edges. Man, the marmalade on this steak is fantastic. Usually, these Kansas City strip steaks don't have much marbling, so you have to cook them to a medium rare so that they're nice and tender and juicy. I'm really liking the marbling on these. I don't know what Jake is feeding his beef out there at E3 Meat Company, but I'm loving it. All right, our last ingredient is a little bit of garlic powder. Really simple recipe. And I cannot wait to show you my reverse sear method on this Yoder Y640 pellet smoker. All right, that looks good right there. I've got my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker running at 200 degrees. We'll see you guys outside. All right, so we're outside at my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker running at 200 degrees. And at 200 degrees is when you're really gonna get some nice smoke on your proteins. Check out all that smoke right there. Smoky. All right, so I'm just gonna place the steaks right here, top rack, right smack in the middle. And I gotta tell you, you can really smell the difference in the smoke at 200 degrees versus 275 degrees. It's a lot smokier than 275. So I've got my probe right here. Just gonna put it right here on this middle steak, right smack in the middle. All right, so I'm looking for 110 degrees for an internal temperature. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so it's been an hour and 10 minutes and the internal temperature of these steaks is 110 degrees. All right, so I'm just gonna pull the steaks off for a minute, put them on this plate. Ooh, look at all this smoke. And that's what they look like right there. I'm gonna cover the plate up with some foil just to keep them nice and warm. I'm also gonna crank the smoker up to 450 degrees. Take off the top grate. Be very careful. I am using my Yoder gloves right here. So the next step is to remove our heat diffuser. Be very careful. All right, here's my Yoder griddle. It is flat on one side and has raised ridges on the opposite side. And this is meant for the 640 and the 480 as well. Just slide it over. 
I'm gonna close the door for about two minutes. Let that plate get really nice and hot. All right, so my smoker's up to 450 degrees. Let's go ahead and open up the lid and sear up these steaks. Woo, look at those flames right there. So I've got some beef tallow. I'm gonna throw some on my griddle to sear up our steaks. Get that really nice and hot. All right, let's throw on our steaks and listen for that sizzle. I'm gonna go about a minute per side, okay? I'm gonna get a nice crust. This is what we're looking for. Oh yeah, listen to that sizzle. So I'm only gonna give these about a minute per side just to get a really nice sear. All right, so it's been one minute. Let's go ahead and flip these. Oh my goodness, look at that crust. That's exactly what we want. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get a quick internal temperature here real quick. And I'm sitting at 128 degrees. 126 and 119. So we're gonna give it a few more seconds. I'm gonna flip them one more time for about 15 seconds. Then we'll see you guys inside. Stay tuned. All right, so these steaks have been resting for five minutes. Just tented them on a plate with some foil. And there they are. Look at all those juices in there. Man. So I'm just gonna place these on my cutting board. Look at that juice in there. The jus is serious. All right, let's slice into one of these steaks and see how we did. I think we should go for this one. It's got a nice fat cap on this side right here. So here we go. Oh man, super tender. How do we do? Oh yeah, really nice pink on the inside. Man, the marbling on this meat is crazy. For a Kansas City strip steak that normally doesn't have this kind of marbling and it's really juicy as well, I am really impressed. Check that out. Does that look yummy or what? Let's give it a taste. All right, let's give these Kansas City strip steaks a try and see how we did but look at that nice pink center. Let me know in the comment section how you guys like your steaks. There we go. Oh, super tender, really nice and juicy, really good smoky flavor as well. Mm -mm -mm. You know what this steak could use is maybe a little bit more salt. So I've got some Fleur de Sel. This is what my buddy Pitmaster X uses. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, Check it out, you guys will love it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little floor to sell over the top, here we go. Mm. That's money. All right, I'm gonna let my daughter try it out. Little floor to sell on top for her as well. Give that a shot, baby. Tell me what you think. That's really good. You like it? Mm -hmm. How's the flavor? Yeah, really juicy. And don't you think that I threw this jus away? I'm gonna dip some of the steak in there. Here we go. Hmm. You know, I normally don't cook a ton of steaks on my channel, but this steak right here from E3 Meat Company is fantastic. I gotta tell you, my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker did a fantastic job of laying a good smoky flavor on these Kansas City strip steaks. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my reverse seared steak video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe at Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.